that Alex Rodriguez has been handed a 214-game suspension for taking performance-enhancing drugs and then trying to sandbag the investigation is a less than exciting climax to weeks of speculation. That he is appealing the punishment while the rest of the dozen accused are not says more about A-Rod than about baseball, drugs, or justice. I'd even go so far as to say I expect A-Rod to fight this thing, and I'm no fan by any stretch, in case you were wondering. Clemens, that's Roger Clemens, fought and won his case despite the evidence against him. Guys like Rodriguez and Clemens, and let's throw Pete Rose into the mix, why not? Guys like these are among the best to ever put on uniforms, and their skill at the game was eclipsed by their determination, guts, and, well, risk-taking. A-Rod has more money than God, and you can expect him to use all at his disposal to fight this thing so that he can go out on his own terms, not on Major League Baseball's. Make no mistake, a 214-game suspension is a career ender for Rodriguez. And while the stature of Rodriguez in the history of the game, I'm not so sure MLB wants to end this way. I predict that there will be some last-minute finagling that cuts the suspension to a more serviceable 50 to 100. If MLB's hammer falls and the suspension lasts 214 games, the game of baseball has as much to lose, if not more so, than Rodriguez the man. And that's something to think about. I'm W.J. O'Reilly. Be well, and see you next time.